What's up, y'all? It's a Perculum. I'm going to show you today how to record, how to prevent from um, recording once you've recorded MIDI data from machine into FL Studio and then want to record a new segment, um, how to prevent from FL Studio up to recording back into machine and screwing it up. So I'm going to give you a demonstration here. Uh, I had someone ask me a question, Tom Meeson. Shout out to Tom Meeson. Uh, asked me a question, and I think I figured it out, what you got to do. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, what Tom was experiencing, and then I'm going to show you my solution to this problem. Okay? So here in Machine, I have three different instruments loaded up, right? And I have routed them into FL Studio into three different... Um, three different mixture tracks and they play all by themselves, right? Okay, so um, I create a little beat here, just a simple something to, uh, to give myself something to play to, right? So let's just say what um, we, we go to chord mode on machine, right? Okay, and let's just say we want to record some chords all right so what we do is we go up here hit record and then go over to FL studio we're gonna play that all right so now we have it right here okay in this little handy button right here this one there's two actually right here um, and what you do is you'll drag this over into the MIDI data right and then we'll delete this right there and then we'll unhit record and then we'll just play it back and it played exactly what we had just played with the simplicity of chord mode right um, so we didn't have to put these chords in it just played it by itself okay um, so the problem somebody uh, was having was that let's say now that we have this pattern down we want to do a new pattern except instead of a chord we want to just do a lead okay uh, so if you if you go back up here and you're thinking hey I'm gonna just record right back into FL studio with bagpipes right something happens uh, and I'll show you what that is I'll try to do it and you'll see what's gonna happen here just right all right ready one two three and so what happened was I went to record bagpipes and this MIDI data right here recorded back into machine and it totally screwed up everything we were trying to do. So, uh, we don't want that. It just, and, and it didn't record and it just recorded one note into bagpipe, but it started over, uh, African plucks overtook because from this MIDI data right here. All right. Uh, so let's, we're just like, Hey, you know what? I want to delete that. And the so I found that, uh, you know, say you wanted to mute this channel and then try bagpipes, right? You can still hear it there and hear bagpipes, but when you go to play it, when you disable this MIDI channel, it won't record this information back in the machine, but at the same time, you won't hear this in machine, right? Because you've disabled it. So... As you see, it's not recording this back in the machine, but the problem is is that we want to record a melody over these chords that we've played live, but you know the, the issue is is that you can't hear it because it's disabled, but when it's enabled, it's recording MIDI data back into machine, which is screwing everything up. Okay, so my solution to this is pretty simple. Uh, we're actually going to re-record this MIDI data back into machine, so watch this. Okay, I did that, right? And what we're gonna do is go over here to this icon right there with the, the little uh, wave sample, and we're gonna click that, and what that does is creates a uh, audio file. Ah, it didn't work. Here, watch, it's gonna work this time. There we go, you gotta see that little loading thing. And it's created this exact sound right there, so check it out. Okay, so now what you do is you go over here, you disable this MIDI channel. It's disabled now. We have this, and we're going to put that right there. 
We're gonna come over here. We're going to delete that because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna go to get <laughs> bagpipe. All right, and now we're gonna play bagpipe over this wave file. Yet we're going to retain the MIDI data because we don't want to delete that. All right. Um, so we're gonna go to record. We're on bagpipe, and here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so now we have the bagpipe data. We're gonna drag that MIDI data to right there, and notice how since this channel was disabled, it did not re-record the MIDI data back into machine, screwing everything up, right? So there we go. We're going to delete this file right here because we don't need that channel anymore. Um, we're going to re-enable this, and we're gonna come over here and delete that MIDI data, and then we're gonna unhit record, right? So now check it out. We have exactly what we want. Sounds horrible, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's just for demonstration purposes. So anyway, that's basically how you go about um, working your way around recording and then into FL Studio and then moving to the next channel and recording with a new sound, but preventing FL Studio from recording back into machine. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the process I would use to do that. There, there might be a way to disable MIDI data from FL Studio going back into machine. I messed with a lot of the settings and channels and all sorts of stuff and I, I couldn't figure it out. Um, but luckily this, uh, this right here gives us a solution to that problem. So this way now you can, uh, you can still progress uh, and do what you want to do. Anyway guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, keep watching and send me more questions because I'm definitely learning from y'all's questions, having to figure this stuff out. All right guys, this is Operculum. Peace.